Hi, I'm Supa. I'm a junior boarding student here at Lindsley. We started our week with wintry weather on Monday, and the entire Lindsley community was excited when Mr. Zimmerman announced a very rare snow day. Boarding students and faculty bundled up and had fun playing in the snow. Although we were not in classes on Monday, the Lindsley community recognized the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday throughout the week with many classes focusing on topics pertaining to the teachings of Dr. King. Lindsley librarian Ms. Paula Lestini also featured a variety of books about the life of Dr. King that were on display for students to peruse in the library. Speaking of the library, the theme of wintry weather continued this week with colorful snowflake art decorating the walls in the library. Under the direction of art teacher Mrs. Kelly Salonica, sixth grade STEAM students learned about chromatography and used this process to create the beautiful snowflakes. Congratulations to Lindsley's Director of Technology and AP Computer Science teacher Mrs. Kara Gregory and her female students who were recognized this week by the College Board. As a result of their achievements, Lindsley received the AP Computer Science Female Diversity Award from the College Board. Mrs. Gregory explained that this distinction recognizes Lindsley for achieving high female representation in AP Computer Science principles. Congratulations to sophomore Rachel Edinger, who received second place in the drawing category last night at the Stifle Fine Arts Center's 33rd Annual Regional Student Art Exhibit. On Wednesday, Lindsley students enjoyed celebrating National Popcorn Day at lunch courtesy of Aladdin Food Service. The delicious smell of popcorn filled the cafeteria as Chef Noah handed out freshly popped popcorn as a midweek treat for students and faculty. In athletic news, we had another busy week of winter athletics. Congratulations to Coach Brubaker and the Lindsley Boys and Girls Swim Teams who competed last weekend in the Bill Brubaker OVAC Swimming Championship at Brook. Congratulations to the Lindsley Boys Swim Team who were named 1A to 4A OVAC champions. The girls also had a strong performance coming in as runner-ups. Great job, Lindsay Swimmers. The Lindsay hockey team defeated Western Reserve Academy 3-1 on Tuesday. Goals were scored by Brendan Moore, Alex Lurkey, and first high school career goal by Matt Scovard. Congratulations to Carly Grimm and Haley Heights, who signed on to play their respective sports at the collegiate level. Carly will go on to play basketball at Flagler, and Haley will continue her cross-country and track career at Ashland. Congratulations. It was an exciting week of girls varsity basketball. On Wednesday night, the girls defeated University High School on the road 45 to 42 with freshman Halen Cook hitting a three-pointer at the buzzer in overtime. On Thursday night, our girls were back at home and played hard again last night, pulling out a 76 to 37 victory against Brooke. Their next game is Monday, January 24th against Oak Glen at home and it will be senior night. Come out to support our seniors, Haley, Carly, and Allie in their final home game. The boys' basketball team also had a strong week defeating Trinity Christian at the Seifel Field House Wednesday night, 83-32. They play again tonight at home against Winfield Varsity only at 8.30. Our middle school wrestling team will compete in the OVC tournament at Union Local over the next two days. This young team was crowned BMC champions earlier this month and look to continue their success this weekend. Good luck to the Lindsley girls and boys bowling team who will participate in OVACs this Saturday at the St. Clairsville Lanes. The girls are scheduled to start at 10 a.m. and the boys bowl at 2. Tickets can be purchased on the OVAC website for this event. And that's what's happening in this week's Cadet Minute.